As we just saw, there's conjunctive normal form. There's also disjunctive normal form, which we're going to look at now. In the last video on conjunctive normal form, we saw that in a way analogous to the distribution of multiplication over addition, so that times distributes over plus, or distributes over and. And, unlike times and plus, where plus does not distribute over time, and also distributes over or. This allows us to take any sentence and put it in disjunctive normal form or conjunctive normal form. Last time we saw how we went through a few iterations of this to get a sentence that was in disjunctive normal form into a sentence that's in conjunctive normal form. Now we're going to see how we can run it the opposite way. So suppose we have a sentence which is in conjunctive normal form, like P or Q, parenthetical, and R or S, parenthetical. We can run this through an iteration of the distribution of AND over OR to get the equivalent sentence P or Q and R, or, our main connective, P or Q and S. But as in the last instance, we still have these disjunctions here, and so we're not quite where we want to get yet. We need one more turn of the screws. We apply the distribution of AND over OR one more time to get the following sentence. So P and R, or Q and R, or P and S, or Q and S. And this sentence is in disjunctive normal form. Now I want to end with two remarks. The first is that some sentences are in both conjunctive and disjunctive normal form. Consider, for example, A is a cube and C is not a dodecahedron. Now this looks like conjunctive normal form, and it is, because it's a conjunction of two sentence letters, and there's your main connective. But it's also in disjunctive normal form, as you can see if you write it out like this. So this sentence here is a disjunction of a pair of conjunctions, there's your main connective, and so this itself is in disjunctive normal form. And so this whole sentence is in both conjunctive normal form and disjunctive normal form simply because every sentence P is equivalent with P or P. Now you might think, and this is the second remark, who cares? Well, there are a lot of applications to things in computing that involve putting things in conjunctive or disjunctive normal forms. It's a handy way of having these strings available that all have the same form. It also makes certain proofs easier to construct, and we'll see this in week nine.